guys, welcome to Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget, and I'm Kara, so welcome. Uh, today I have a product empties video for you. I've done one once before, not too many people watched it. Um, that's when my channel was a little bit smaller, or it could just be that people hate these videos. Um, but we're going to do this video. <laughs> And if you hate it, you can exit out. No harm, no foul. Um, so, uh, you know, it's funny. Whenever people do these videos, like, you don't really see them pulling out, like, tons of beauty products. Because, like, we usually just declutter the, the products when we get sick of them, right? Because we don't really, like, empty out any um, eyeshadow palettes. Like, the only thing that I really seem to go through with any regularity is mascaras. So... Um, this, this is a body wash. It's for sensitive skin. I get mine at CVS. This is a dupe for the Dove Sensitive Skin Nourishing Body Wash. I like the pump on it. I like to get this in a really big size. And uh, I think I've been using this for 10 years. 10 years. So uh, before this, whenever I would shower, uh, especially when I lived down in Florida and the water was harsh, so I guess like 15 years ago, my skin would feel dry, especially all around my back um, and my lower back. My skin always felt dry from the hard water, so I started using um, sensitive skin soap and it really helped just a lot. Next up, we have this, which is a uh, long, sexy hair luxe dry shampoo by the Sexy Hair brand. I guess this is like somewhat of a well-known brand because they charge like, um, oh, well, here, look at the TJ Maxx sticker. Uh, you can see that it says regular price $9.99, like right here, but it's on clearance for $10. So who's the dummy who fell for that one? Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I'm not crazy about this. It stank so much like perfume. It was crazy. Like I would spray it on my hair and run out into the hallway, running away from the fumes. Um, bad, really bad. Um, this is so good that I used it all. Hemp's, this one is so good. It smells so good. The sweet pineapple and honey melon. Some of you got this in your Ipsy bags, the little small size. I love this. I have a second one. Uh, I do like the hemp's lotions. I think I have about five of them. Uh, they absorb well. They're not sticky. Um, they're not too much. You know, they're right at a medium range of moisture and they're never sticky and they come out with a ton of scents. So, and then they have seasonal scents. This is just so good. You smell it. It just smells like summer. And yeah, again, it's sweet pineapple and honey melon. Here is a body scrub. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm sure you could get it anywhere. It says $9.99. And this is by Shea Moisture, which is also a brand that's carried at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, where I love to go check out my TJ Maxx. Playlist right up there. It's awesome. Uh, all have in green tea extra moisturizing hand and body scrub. Ooh, with avocado. It says this is for dry aging skin. I love using this. Um, it was great. I don't know what more to say about it because it was just a regular old like a sugar scrub and it worked great. I mostly would use this on my forearms and then my lower legs. Um, it wasn't especially harsh or anything. It was actually really quite nice. So if I saw this uh, or any Shea Moisture scrub, I would definitely buy it again. And here we have Juice Beauty. It's a brand I don't like. Um, this is the Juice Beauty Sport um, SPF 30 um, sunscreen. And I gave this, I tried to use it, and um, it was kind of horrendous smelling. So I gave it to my boyfriend, Pat, um, and he he's very laid back. He doesn't complain about anything. So one day he came downstairs with holding this, and he was like this. He was like, I hate this. And I look at him like, 
why because i want to know was it oily um because he has you know rosacea and everything and i i help him out by getting him good sunscreens that he likes so i wanted to know what was it about the sunscreen um that he didn't like so that i could you know get things that really work for him and then he said it smells like a burning tire factory or something like that and then i laughed extremely hard because I thought the same thing, but I still gave it to him to see if he would like it. And he kind of had the, well, he did. He had the same opinion I did. It smells like a burning tire factory. Bad. See, oh, and whenever I say bad things about Juice Beauty here on my channel, people leave very mean comments for me. Gwyneth, call off your squad. Next up, we have the Body Shop. These are the tubs that you get at Ulta. 48-hour uh, ultra-rich moisture for very dry skin. I have these in other scents. Um, I went into Ulta and I picked this out. I did try it. It's the Wild Argan Oil. And I thought I liked it. And I guess that's an argan nut? Is that is that a, a nut? I bought it and brought it home and within um, 10 minutes of putting it on, it gave me a headache. So me and Argan do not get along. So uh, this I have to give to someone. I, I don't know who, but that has to go away. Living Proof Conditioner, Perfect Hair Day. I am way too cheap to buy this stuff for myself, but uh, I did like this conditioner. I must have got it um, free with a purchase or something at Ulta. Uh, but I did like it, and again, I'm too cheap to buy it for myself. Here's another living proof. We have the Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, and again, it's mini, and I love dry shampoo, and yeah, all living proof uh, products all have like that certain little living proof scent, and let's see. All I can smell is like the remaining gas coming out of this can, so... Sorry, that was a bad demonstration. Uh, this is Soap and Glory. Um, I've already decluttered a Soap and Glory uh, moisture product. This is this was the Hydrating Body Butter. No woman, no dry. Call of Fruity is the scent. Um, I find this scent not pleasant, but I think there was a bunch of people out there that do like the Soap and Glory scent. I think, uh, the scent kind of, um, goes through their whole line. Like, it's the same scent, maybe? This is the Rembrandt Whitening Toothpaste, and I get this at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. And this is I for Intense Stain. And it's supposed to be like the strongest one of them, so I just buy that one, uh, although I'm not a smoker or anything. It's in the mint flavor. It says 25 times more stain removed in one week. I don't really know that that's true, but I drink a ton of Diet Coke all the time and red wine. And this stuff, um, like I don't bleach my teeth hardly ever, but it kind of keeps things under control. So stuff I really like, I keep buying it, and I'm always finding it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and I buy it for my boyfriend, and, uh, oh, also, Rembrandt was the first company to have at-home whitening products, so I remember going to a dentist and getting a whitening t teeth kit, uh, in 1989, a long time ago, um, and the brand was Rembrandt, so that was a in dental office brand and then when i started to see the rembrandt um, toothpaste you know several years later i was like well this is the og so i use that one um, this is a brand that is very expensive and i don't really think it should be so much um exuvians this is the optolite all over dark spot minimizer and it's a cream it's lightweight i like that it's in a little air pump and it has spf 25 and the way i just used this was uh, all through the spring and summer i would just use it for my neck i have a little melasma under here 
I know, it's awful. This is the SPF that I've used all over my neck and down in this area, the V-neck area, um, all spring and summer. And uh, I never saw that any dark spots faded away or anything. So I would not repurchase this and it's expensive. They sell this at Ulta. Here's a Mally eyeshadow stick, an extra velvet is the formula and then the shade was dusty rose and quite often the subscription box it has a dog hair on it uh quite often the subscription boxes would give these away like about six months ago and i noticed that i would put this on my lids leave the house and then uh a couple hours later i would notice that if i closed my eyes and looked up and looked down i could feel my eyelids sticking to the top of my eye so uh yeah i know i'm older but um no other product does that just mally here's a tried and true foundation this is born this way um i love born this way uh the two-faced foundations because they just have my shade right uh this is snow it is lighter than porcelain when they first came out with this the lightest was porcelain and then they created like five shades lighter than that thank god so um i love this i repurchased it i have a i have one currently i like it, it has a nice finish um it's just a really nice product uh some people hate it uh i don't think i truly loved it at first but it's also medium weight so you can't expect it to be full coverage but i really like it and the wear time on it is, is quite nice here's where everyone unsubscribes from my channel this is the glow recipe watermelon glow jelly sheet mask we got like two of these and like a boxy charm or something and you know what i just don't get it i don't get it they smell this watermelon stuff the watermelon products from glow recipe they smell so strongly i don't understand why we have to have skincare that reeks of perfume okay there i said it um everyone's crazy about anything glow recipe oh uh, my channel's gonna get canceled i don't like this stuff i don't need to have perfume on my face I guess we've come to the part of the video where I talk about everything that I hate. This is something else I hate. This is Estee Lauder Daywear. And what it is, is a multi-protection, antioxidant, sheer tint release moisturizer. And it is an SPF of 15. So I put this on my face and then I went out. And then when I came home, I thought I looked orange. And I couldn't figure out how that could have happened if I was wearing sunscreen. So it comes out greeny looking. And I'm going to just put some here. And we're going to see that it magically transforms. It is such a strange product. 20 minutes later. So let's take a look at what happened to my arm after I did a big old patch on my arm. Look, see this giant square area? This gross square area that looks like uh, f fake tanning stuff was put on it was caused by this uh, Estee Lauder Daywear. So I find this completely disgusting. I think I got this one in an Ipsy. This is Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Intensely Moisturizing Body Butter. And um, it, this is another tricky product. Let me tell you, this is tricky and this is tricky. This one, it smells good. It smells nice. And then the scent fades away about like, I don't, I don't remember, it was about maybe four minutes. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. And then it just smells like Play-Doh. And if you've put it all over your arms, I've gone into the bathroom and tried to wash my arms and try to get that smell off me, and I couldn't. So this, <laughs> this is, um, so this one I don't like, it's bad. As opposed to 
this one, which I love. I love the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Creams. This one is in pink grapefruit. Sometimes they have scents that are seasonal. Um, this one was pink grapefruit and still smells nice. I mean, you put this stuff like on your lower legs and if you feel your lower legs the next day, you can still feel that they're softer than when you put it on. It's like, it's it just locks in the moisture. This is unbelievable. I mean, I would bathe in this stuff if I could. Uh, but this is the six ounce, and I have another scent. And if you get it in unscented, you can use it on your face as well. Uh, maybe you can use the perfumey ones on your face. I don't know. I don't know if that's recommended or not. I wouldn't do it for my face, but uh, I love these. I think that they're worth the money. And uh, you get them at Alta, but you can also sometimes find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Here's another First Aid Beauty. So this is the Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 30, and uh, it gives you a natural luminous finish, it says, and this is unfair. And I got this at TJ Maxx because they changed their shades. So for the lighter shades, I don't know, they came out, instead of having fair, they changed it to like porcelain and ivory. I think they just kind of um, brought in the shade range uh, in general. So occasionally we can find these at TJ Maxx. What I love about this is I could throw it on, go to brunch, come back, and it was the middle of summer. It was boiling hot and I expected to look into the mirror and see just a really shiny face full of sunscreen. And when I looked in the mirror, I it was First of all, the tint is very nice. It's just really mellow. You don't notice it. Second of all, um, it it was matte. It was just a matte finish. So this says it gives you a luminous finish. Um, I disagree with that. I think it gave me a matte finish, but in a good way. Not a dry matte finish, but just like a normal non-sunscreen finish. So this I liked a lot. And yeah, I will probably pick one up again when the summer rolls around. This one is by Maylove, which is an indie beauty brand. This is the Glow Maker, and if you don't know about this stuff, you should know about this stuff. This is an antioxidant serum. The main deal about this is that this is a vitamin C serum. It also has vitamin E and ferulic acid. It is like a dupe for the SkinCeuticals one. I'll put it down below what I'm talking about. There's a SkinCeuticals um, serum, a vitamin C serum with ferulic, with E, and it's about $129. But then Maylove makes these in small batches and they sell it for this amount. So it's been a little while since uh, I bought it, but this stuff is so, so good. Uh, it caused me no irritation at all. And this is a product that you can use on your face, your neck, your chest, and I believe you're only supposed to use this uh, once a day. This is a wonderful product. It is so worth it to go and check out Maylove or look up reviews here on YouTube about it. It is an affordable product, an affordable skincare brand, and they have wonderful customer service. Uh, Maylove, uh, put me on your PR list, Maylove, because this stuff is so good. Um, also speaking of serum, by the way, nothing sponsored and nothing in here is um, from PR. Um, speaking of serums, I loved, oh my God. Oh my god, this is the Caudalie uh, Vino Perfect um, Radiance Serum. And this was another serum that was designed to help correct your um, uneven skin tone. If you have brown blotches, like I have melasma brown blotches here, or maybe you have a little dot from a pimple from a few months ago. And I loved using this. So the way I got this one was that I had a a serum that I got from BoxyCharm and I traded it on the um, swap website, which I'll link right up here. I did a video on how to swap stuff. Um, and that's how I got this one. And it goes for like $79 and I'm too cheap to pay for it. But I love this. I love this. And it's never a TJ Maxx or Marshalls and it never goes on sale half price. So I don't know. Will we ever meet again? I don't know.
But let's talk more makeup. This is Dior. This is Dior show, darling. Dior show. And I love this. This is an 090, which is just basic black. Um, I love this. It has a huge wand. And I love this. I should just go and buy it. I mean, even expensive mascaras I don't think are over $40. So I love this. I loved it so much. Here's another skincare product. This is the Ordinary. This is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. Um, if you haven't heard of the Ordinary, um, look them up. Look at reviews here on YouTube. They are fantastic. This is hyaluronic acid, so it's really just good for moisturization. You clean your face, you tone, you then put on your serum, and this will just, I guess hyaluronic acid pulls the moisture out of the air into your face, and then you would put on your night cream after that. This was just perfection. I could use this and then put any type of night cream on over it. I did not get pilling. I did not have any reactions. It was just super easy to work with. This is about $6, so I'll put the price right here. Um, and it's now carried at Ulta. Before it was only carried at Sephora and at the Desiem website. But um, now you can get it at Alta, and it's so convenient because when I'm um, shopping at Alta, if I have to spend another $10 for free shipping, I'll just throw on two of these because uh, I use it, my boyfriend uses it, um, and my boyfriend calls this um, hydraulic acid. So he'll say to me, um, you know, I'm running out of that stuff. And I say, what? What is that stuff? The hydraulic acid. I'm running out of the hydraulic acid. So, hydraulic acid by The Ordinary. Here's a product. Oh, wow, that was like cool. Here's a product that I got um, from Ulta when they had like 50% uh, off, like a 21 Days of Beauty or something like that. Because it was expensive. This is Rapid Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. It says luscious lashes in just four weeks. And I think the original price was 65 and I got it for like 30 or something. And I tried it and I put it on my lashes and then I got irritation after a few days. So I had to stop using it, but I did start using it on my eyebrows. Um, is it doing anything? It looks like maybe I might have gotten a little bit of eyebrow growth because, I mean, I think the eyebrow and the eyelash serums are pretty similar. Um, here it is showing you how to do it. My eyes did not like this. Uh, so I will try another lash enhancing serum. But this one was not it. This Rapid Lash with the silver, it just didn't work out for me. But I'm on the hunt for another one. Hey, in this bucket, I just pulled out this. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo. Um, I, uh, maybe I did buy the shampoo and conditioner because I think I bought them so, so, so long ago, like two years ago. And I would really only use this um, in between my regular shampoo when I felt that maybe I had built up or something. And I think that's why that this these two bottles lasted so long. So um, yeah, it's been around for a long time, but Living Proof is really good and I'm just too cheap to buy it. And here is a super affordable toner. This is the Neutrogena um, alcohol-free toner. If you're building um, a skincare regimen, let me tell you, if there's one thing, one thing you do not have to spend a lot of money on, it's the toner. Just make sure your toner does not have alcohol in it. And this is a good way to go. This is um, one strip, blah, 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 gentle non-stinging formula. This is a toner that I would use in the mornings. Uh, for nighttime, I use the Ordinary, which is like an AHA toner. But for mornings, I like a nice gentle toner. And this is as good as anything else. So to go out and get like a Clinique toner that's just a basic non-exfoliating um, toner, 
Um, you can just get this. It's very cheap. It's like six bucks or something. Neutrogena. This is a good one. So there you have it. A whole bunch of empties. Some of them were fabulous. Some of them were absolutely horrendous. And some of them were just plain meh. So thank you so much for watching me go through my empties and let me know are there any products in here that you really like or that you really hate or where we really differ in opinions on let me know in the comments down below please hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and down below in the description i will leave a link to my previous empties video this is only episode two so uh, as i get more empties i'll come right on back here to tell you what's good and what's horrendous thanks so much i'll see you soon bye